Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Dang and Uh, we left off on. We only saw the uh, characters from the uh for what we'll be dealing with for the game. What we left off with is we are going to go see what could be the mastermind, or at least someone who will give us the answers as to what is actually going on at this school. So, without further ado, let's go ahead, load this save up, and get going. To the gym we go. Hey, come on. God, I had no idea this Hope Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. It, it, it really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Uh, um. And why isn't there anyone else here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? <laughs> They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down sooner. Uh, they'll take those metal plates down later. I'm sure of it. <laughs> All we can do it now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <sighs> Well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it! Hey, where's whoever called us here? Manto, stop running! Well, then. stop, no running. I too shall go. <laughs> hey, wait! Don't leave me here all alone. Uh, yeah, I can observe by hitting the tap button. I can see all this stuff. Um, trophy case. A display case. There are all kinds of trophies and plate plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? So this is probably a tiny fraction, just a tiny fraction of all their rewards. Their awards. Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Maybe I'm just imagining that. Um... Where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? This is bad. I'm totally getting bad vibes right now. A bad vibe right now. Great if I could read. Still filled with uneasy dread. I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo. See, I told you. It's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. But in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello. Is everyone here? Good. Then let's get things rolling. Teddy bear? I'm not a teddy, teddy. bear. I, I am, am Morkabuma! And I oh. am this school's oh, headmaster. It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes was, it was, I was seeing was, it was utterly incomprehensible. Oh, 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 oh. Nice to meet you all. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place, and all that anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Say what? What? That teddy bear can talk? <laughs> Calm down. I'm sure there's a speaker inside it. Hey, come on now. <laughs> Hell. Hell. Hey. I told you already, I'm not Teddy Bear. I'm Monokuma! 
And I'm your headmaster. Say what? what? It moved. Dude, shit. Seriously, man. Calm down. It's probably just a remote control or something. Or toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? That's cut. You cut me deep. Deeper than Mariana Trench. Trench. My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. Ah, but don't give me stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. Well. Bear that? Really? You are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get get started. Come on. Giving up already? Uh oh. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now. Quiet down. Ah, okay, so. Huh. He has abandoned the gag. Good morning! Everyone, stay at attention and bow, and good morning! You hear me? Good morning! What's your problem? You, you don't have to say it, to say it back. Now then. Now then, let us commence with the uh, most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about your school life here will be like. What your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, you view students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will live a communal life together, solely within the confines of the school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. And now then, regarding the date for this communal life, there isn't one! In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. What did you say? Until the until the day we die? The die? Yep. Oh, but do not fear. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for all the common conveniences. Hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah. What the hell? Are you saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I am not screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that, you can be 100% sure. Uh -huh. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So all those metal plates all over the school? There to keep us, to keep us trapped in here. Phew. That's exactly what they're for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Come on. What the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whatever or whoever is behind all it all. This is just a really bad joke. Damn you! Yeah, cut this out. It ain't. It isn't funny anymore. Unbelievable! You keep saying that this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna but do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbors. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And with when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here without, for, to having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the interest ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave. Hey. Oh, um... but you know, I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is a w one way for you to leave the school. <laughs> really? Actually, as headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now, then. now let me tell you about this fun little rule. 
As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation quad. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know. If one person were to murder another, murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. I give it, give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your, I bet that got your blood juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, right? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world. But you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. I just find that so darn exciting. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is it's. Huh? To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do you have to kill each other? Say what? Yeah. What? Stop blabbering on all about this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering. 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 What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. You guys don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? Yeah. And you can kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead, go on, a kill, kill, killing spree. All right, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Mm -hmm. eh? You know, you got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us, so you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, right? Yeah, because, I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like... Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What do you mean, like your hair? You son of a bitch. Fuck! <laughs> Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. There was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He locked it on to his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit. I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds. What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations. Shut the fuck up. Let me out of here, I swear to Christ. Hey, damn it. What? No smart ass, no smart ass comeback this time? Piece of shit. Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out! Watch out, get rid of it! Huh? Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if her ferocity stunned him or into silence or what, but without a word he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did... It was a bomb! Nice! The hell? What the? That, that sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, 
never seen anything like it. Like, <laughs> you know, this means that Teddy Bear has been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you, I'm no Teddy Bear. I'm Monokuma. What? There's another one? D you son you? of a bitch. You seriously tried to kill me just now. Of course. Well, yes. I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off the warning this time. But you'd better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. Hey, so does this mean there's like a bunch more of you lying? A bunch of more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monoku must have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. That, that's not even a punishment. That's just wrong. Well. Now then, lately, to com. Now then, lastly. To commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital. So naturally, we call it the e-handbook. Hmm. Yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy student, a healthy school life. life. So don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now then, now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. Also, it's completely waterproof. Smash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep on ticking. And that's to its space age design. It can withstand an impact force up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations. So make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of the school regulations will not be tolerated. Shing. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, indeed. The same thing happens here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Bye -bye. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary li school life, and see ya! And with that, he was gone. Think of us all in a state of shock. So guys, how would you define what we just experienced? What the crap? How, why? How? Why? I don't understand any of this. Huh? Huh? We ha have to live here forever? Or Kill? <laughs> well, what just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to calm down. First, let's take this second. Let's take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. The other choice is, indeed. If we want to get out to be alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's but killing someone, that's we're about to be a... we're... we were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school and now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is this is this is just what is this? Ridiculous. A lie is all is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard. This has this all has to be fake. Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So, in other words, is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. That's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. 
Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? Betray it? And that was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hope so high, it's not a school of hope. It is, it's a school of despair. And that's the end of the prologue. Okay, I'm done doing voices. It's actually killing my throat. I can't do good voices anyway. So 15 students remaining. To be continued, yeah, sure, whatever. It would have been cool if I ended it at that point, but I didn't. Uh, let's skip the intro. Receive the school crest present. Cool. Yes, save data. Uh, next slot, please. Big preach. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. Hmm, I really screwed my voice. I was trying to switch and make sure I did the right ones. I know I wasn't. It was hurting. For, for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. And? So, what are we going to do now? Hey. Just stand around, glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to state to reality. R right, she's right. Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. To forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Somebody hit me. Punish me. Huh? Jesus. If I, if you have time to, talk, to yell about it, you have the time to do something about it. However. Perhaps. But what is the mission exactly? Stupid. Idiot. To look for a way out. Duh. What the? And we totally need to find wh whoever is controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But... But, but before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True. If we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. Alright. So then... Fine. Let's... Then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Some lovely rules. Kodo Naegi. After turning on my e-handbook, e the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on us all. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and pushed accordingly. Speaking of sleeping. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as it as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who f kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around. This is bullshit. What, what the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not going to get let them control me. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what the rules ha when uh, what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However... 
But if he got punished like that, we like we uh, like what we saw before. I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Yo. I. Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. So what? What? I've made a, a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That so what? Shit. So I can't afford to die here. None of that even none of that made much sense to me. But you are saying you will follow the regulations. Is that it? That's true. Huh? Oh well. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think that means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. I'm talking about the second half, right, where it says unless they are discovered? I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But, but why? Why do we ha have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. So don't jab at me. Give me a break. More like a full-on stab. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True. We need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out what about food and supplies? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it! Damn straight. Okay, then let's start. Uh, let's all start looking around. Hmm. I'll be going what? alone. What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hmm. Someone here might have already started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Hold on a second. Oh, wait, hold on a second. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um... But, but... Hmm. So, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on. Like how I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? what? The fuck's that supposed to mean? Such Any tiny bit of plankton dripping across the sea. So many schools, so insignificant, they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. He's gonna kick your ass. Stop it. We shouldn't fight. What? The fuck you just say? You some kind of goody goody little bitch? You wanna throw down? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my fucking dad or something? No, I wasn't. You Fuck bitch. you! Wait. He punched me. And I flew back in the heat. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten. The kind of people I'd been trapped here with. Common sense had just. Stop functioning and ground all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. Before it was before it finally cut out completely. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was <sighs> Huh? Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information. Is play, open the handbook, press that off the wood key. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info and report card section. Certain points, map, and truth bullets may not be available. You can also save and load game uh, data under the system section. Finally, press F2 to review the transcript. These records are pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. This must be the key to the room, M. Nyagi. My name's written on the keychain. 
which means it must be mine, right? I better hang on to it for now. Some kind of lint roller must be able to clean up after ourselves. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. Looks like there's something in the drawer. A toolkit. Must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. What is this? This would appear to be the bathroom. Rattle, rattle. Huh, it's not opening. I guess it's locked. Trash can. Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trap door or hidden compartments or anything. Got a coin. A TV. Some kind of monitor. Cool. But looks like this door leads to the outside. It's locked. Some sort some so some of the rooms have locks, huh? I can leave still, right? The door leads to the outside. I got the key. Crazy? Oh, I missed the thing on the wall. There's a piece of paper hanging on the wall which says, Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night time. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' room include a lock of their own. Finally, we prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit, and for the boys, a tool kit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any kind, any with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. Crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. I think I'm sorry I understand. This room must be... Sleeping anywhere other than dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. This is your dormitory. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. The next question is, what's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out of here. Leave the area? Yes. Rush out of the room to meet up with all the others. There was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham! Ah! ah. Oh, Sayaka. Sayaka? Oh. Sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good, then. Um... But are you okay? You know, from when, when Mondo hit you? That's true. I get knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto. Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing's wrong here. That's good. Oh, that's good. I was really... I was kind of worried. But thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Um, Actually, I came to get you. Came to get me? Um, well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? We'll see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So, we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we each found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? 
If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. Okay. Well, I feel like that's a okay place to stop. Uh, my throat's kind of thrashed anyway from trying to do the voices earlier. That didn't really do me much good. And also, I don't want to make these extensively long. Uh, but we've now gotten to see the rules. Uh, we understand what's at stake. We have to kill if we want to leave. And otherwise, we are stuck here to live our communal life together. And that's just that. So, for now, that'll be all. We'll pick up and uh, see what everyone else has going on. In the meantime, that I just got my butt smacked down and plastered on the ground. Um, we'll see what everyone else is doing in the meantime. But for now, that'll be all. And I will see you all in the next video. Black Sentinel, logging out.